when it comes to measuring thin materials with pinpoint accuracy. The Dakota NDT PCX ultrasonic precision thickness gauges are designed to provide accurate and reliable material thickness measurements on materials as thin as 0.15 millimeters. To do this successfully, they use a single element transducer with a suitable delay line. When triggered by a voltage, single element transducers emit an ultrasound pulse which travels from the transducer into the material aided by an ultrasonic couplant. It then hits the back wall of the material and echoes back towards the transducer where it is then detected. The gauge then uses the speed of the pulse with the time taken between the pulse being emitted and the echo being detected to calculate the thickness of the material. However, measuring thin materials means that the ultrasonic signal will return to the transducer incredibly quickly, meaning there's not always enough time between the pulse leaving the element and the echo returning. This is why when using a Dakota NDT PCX, single element transducers use a delay line to increase the time between the pulse being sent and the echo being received. Dakota NDT supply two different materials of delay line, acrylic and graphite. The material you are measuring will affect the material of the delay line you should use. Acrylic delay lines are suitable for measuring on steel, aluminium, titanium, and other thin metals, with the gauge in either interface echo or echo echo mode. While thin plastics and other similar materials should be measured using a graphite delay line with the gauge set to plastic mode. There are also different lengths of delay line and the one that is best suited for your application is typically dependent on the thickness and density of the material you are measuring. For example, a 12 mm acrylic delay line is best used on thicker materials and provides greater accuracy on noisy materials. In other words, materials that are good conductors of sound. On the other hand, because it is shorter, a 9mm acrylic delay line provides a greater signal strength, helping you to measure more dense materials which are tougher to penetrate, like plastics or lead. So, how do you change delay lines? With the transducer disconnected from the gauge, unscrew the nailed collar and remove it, placing it in a safe place, followed by the delay line you are replacing. Before placing your new delay line onto the transducer, you should ensure there is a small amount of ultrasonic couplant between the transducer and the delay line to aid in the ultrasonic pulse in traveling freely between them. If there is no couplant between them, or it has dried out over time, the ultrasonic pulse will not reach the delay line, resulting in no measurements. That's why it is always worth applying more couplants periodically or whenever you change delay lines. With the couplant and the new delay line in place, simply replace the nilled collar and retighten. Next, connect your transducer to your Dakota NDT PCX. Typically, you will be automatically asked to confirm the frequency and diameter of your transducer along with the delay line you are using. Simply select the delay line from the list in the gauge and press OK. For more information on Dakota NDT's range of ultrasonic precision gauges, or for any training support, simply visit dakota.com or click on one of the links on screen. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Dakota or Elcometer channels to be notified of any new videos.